Joy went to take a shower to remove her makeup, but someone poured paint into the shower head and the water turned green. Joy questioned Lucy, Rhonda, and Lily. Lucy said, I did my laundry and then went to cook some kiwi jam. Sorry, I gotta go. It might burn. Lily said, I took a shower and washed my hair right before you went in. What happened? Why are you so green? And Rhonda said, I'm studying for my geometry test. Can you keep it down, please? Who pranked Joy? Lily said she just washed her hair, but it's dry and braided. Besides, she's wearing a dress under her bathrobe. A pretty suspicious outfit. Lily decided to stay and take care of Joy. Meanwhile, Rhonda offered Lucy to visit her aunt, Vera. She ran a magic shop with different potions. When Vera heard about what happened to Joy, she said, Okay, I need three ingredients to cook a healing drink. Here's the first one. When it comes to me, you go when you see red and stop at green. Can you guess the ingredient? It's watermelon. Mark steps through the door. His right hand is on the wall. And off he goes. Apparently, it's time for breakfast. Mark comes up to the table. There are three apples, but only one of them is safe to eat. The other two are poisonous. Unfortunately, Mark can't skip breakfast. Which apple should he eat? Look, this apple has a caterpillar in it. It means there's no poison in the fruit, and it's safe to eat. Sometime later, Mark stumbles across a big old castle. He should enter it and see what's happening there. He comes up to the door, but it's locked. It requires a password. Here's a sequence of numbers. Four more digits must be added to it. Can you guess which ones? One plus three is four. Three plus four is seven. Four plus seven is eleven. Then seven plus eleven is eighteen. So the next digits are two and nine. Twenty-nine. Because that's eleven plus eighteen. And eighteen plus twenty-nine gives us forty-seven. Which is four and seven. The password is two nine four seven. And this is the right answer. The door clicks open and Mark walks into a dark and dusty corridor. Mark sees a long corridor with many turns. Mark's task is to figure out which turn is the one he needs. But it's not that hard. The guy is actually inside an art gallery with paintings on the walls. After every turn, he can see two pictures. Mark should just follow the original paintings. He will need your help to tell them apart. Okay. Here's the first one. Which one is the original? Both paintings seem to be The Starry Night by Van Gogh. But look, in one of these pictures, there's a couple of planes in the sky. Van Gogh definitely didn't paint that, so this one must be the replica. So Mark should better choose the other turn. Another turn, another choice. This time, it's Girl with a Pearl Earring by Johannes Vermeer. Which one is the original? I don't think the girl in the real masterpiece had a nose piercing. So the painting on the right is fake, and Mark should turn left. You surely know this one, Mona Lisa by Leonardo da Vinci. But one of the paintings is really messed up. Can you spot the difference? Look in the right picture. You can see some cars on the road behind the woman's back. I think Mark should turn left. This is The Persistence of Memory by Salvador Dali. 
Which painting is a replica? It's the one on the left. I don't think a melted modern smartphone belongs there. Turn right. And one more choice to make. It's American Gothic by Grant Wood. Look closely and help Mark choose. The man on the right picture has tattoos on his knuckles, which makes the painting fake. So Mark should turn left. Three friends lived not far from one another and often met to drink some coffee together. Their names were Mr. Blue, Mr. Red, and Mr. White. One day, they noticed that under their coats, they were wearing shirts of different colors, red, blue, and white. Mr. Blue said, Hi, Mr. White. Have you all noticed that we're all wearing different colors that are different from our actual names? The man wearing the white shirt answered, Wow, you're right. Can you figure out the shirt of which color each of them was wearing? Mr. Blue can only be wearing white or red, but we've already learned that someone else is wearing the white shirt. That means that Mr. Blue can only be wearing the red shirt, and Mr. White can only be wearing a blue or red shirt, and the red shirt is already taken. So, Mr. White is wearing the blue shirt. Then, Mr. Red is wearing the white shirt. These three women, Jessica, Mary, and Olivia, went shopping. Two of them are pregnant, and one is just trying to steal a watermelon. Can you tell which one is hiding a watermelon? It's Olivia. She's wearing heels. It's not the kind of shoes a pregnant woman would want to wear. Mark was driving to an important business meeting. He was in a hurry since he was running a bit late. That's when he got into a car accident. His car was okay, but the other driver crashed into a tree. Luckily, he wasn't injured. They called the police. When the police officers arrived, Mark told them his side of the story. I was driving fast but carefully. Suddenly, a car pulled out in front of me. I managed to avoid the collision, but then this guy hit the tree. When he saw my expensive car, he started to blame me for the entire accident. Uh, because it was your fault. I was driving slowly enough, talking to my wife about our next vacation, and then you appeared out of nowhere. The police officers understood who was responsible for the accident. Can you figure it out too? It was the other driver. He was alone in his car. It means he was talking to his wife on the phone, which is illegal. Ooh, very, very bad. Justin was an archaeologist who explored ancient pyramids. Once, something went wrong and he got locked in a tiny room deep underground. Justin had just gotten into the room through a narrow passage, which was almost immediately blocked by a rock slide. There was only one other door and it was locked. To open it, the guy had to solve a riddle and enter a correct four-digit code. A, G, F, H, V, Z, J, T. What code should Justin enter? Each digit of the code is the number of letters in the alphabet that stand between the letters in the riddle. So, the code is 5139. Wikipedia saved you a gazillion times, but did you pay enough attention to find the correct logo? Yes, that's the one with the capital A. Do you know the logo of the Disney Channel? Here it is. Ralph Lauren's logo. What's your guess? It's this one. Next up, Nescafe. What's the correct logo?
It's this one. Hot Wheels. It's the best-selling toy brand in the world. It made even more money than Lego or Barbie. I bet you have a few of them. Can you spot the correct logo? It's this one. New Balance. Left or right? It's the left one. Formula One is a racing world championship that originated in Europe in the 1920s and is now held around the world. Find the correct logo now. Here it is. The day Paul Van Doren opened his first van store, he didn't have enough change. So he allowed his 12 customers to go home with the shoes and asked them to come the next day to pay. Every single one came back to pay. Which logo is correct? Here it is. Did you know that Sour Patch Kids were only invented in the early 1970s? Anyway, you love them, but do you know the logo well? It's this one. What's the correct Assassin's Creed logo? Here it is. If you're about to buy a Tesla, there are two options. Which one is real and which one is fake? Yes, of course it's this one. What's the correct Hallmark Channel logo? This one, right? Starlink is SpaceX's satellite internet constellation. What's the correct logo? It's this one. Hardcore flashbacks. Sesame Street has been running since 1969, so it's been around since even your parents were little. We know it all too well. What's the correct logo? It's this one, of course. What's the correct Calvin Klein logo? It's this one here. That's a fancy car brand you don't see often, but it's famous. So what's the correct logo? This one here. I know, I know, switching colors is a hard game, but it's one of the most popular channels. So just trust your instincts. Yes, this one right here. You got it. What's the correct Mazda to buy? Yes, it's this one. What's the correct logo of Beats? This one right here. Did you know that Mountain Dew is produced by the same company that has Pepsi? Anyway, the question remains, which logo is the correct one? It's this one. Do you know what the correct Armani logo is? It's this one. You see it all the time on your pens, but you probably never paid attention. What's the correct logo? It's this one. UPS, left or right? It's the right one. Amnesty International is a global movement for human rights. What's the correct logo? It's this one here. Can you find the correct logo?
Yeah, it's right here. What about Java? Can you find the one? This one, of course. Boeing has been an American company producing airplanes and equipment since 1916. That's a tough one, but maybe you can spot the right logo. It's this one. Find the correct Alfa Romeo logo. That's the one. What about Slack? Can you spot it? It's right here. What do you have to say here? Yeah, it's this one. Whether you're a FIFA or The Sims kind of person, your leisure time is excellent thanks to the electronic arts. But what's the correct logo? Yes, it's this one. Subaru is a Japanese company and it's already 68 years old. How many stars does it have on the logo? The big one and five small ones. Pinterest has been around since December 2009. It's older than Instagram, Quora, and Snapchat. After 12 years of having it, can you spot the correct logo? Here it is. What's the correct LG logo? It's this one. Warner Brothers made your life so much better with its movies. What's the correct logo? You have to know. Of course, it's this one. Are you a gamer? If yes, you must get this one. If not, well, try your best. It's this one. Did you get it right? Hasbro was founded in Rhode Island by three brothers in 1923. At first, they were selling textile remnants, and now they sell toys and games. What's the correct logo? That's the one. Kentucky Fried Chicken was founded in 1930. It's been around for 92 years, but can you tell which one of these logos is the correct one? Yes, here's the one. What about Pringles? What's the correct logo? This one right here. Costco logo, what's your guess? You got it. Next up, Taco Bell. What's the correct logo? It's this one. Oreo is the best-selling cookie brand in the whole world. Do you think you can find the correct logo here? Okay, that was easy. It's this one. Mmm, Doritos. Right or left? Yep, it's the left one. Haribo is a German brand, and it's 101 years old, so it's older than KFC. You see it all the time on your gummy bears packs. Find the correct logo now. Here it is. Burger King, or as it's known in Australia, Hungry Jacks. 
Yeah, copyright laws made them change the name, but the question is, where is the one? Found it! A lot of people love them, and you're probably one of them. But do you know the logo well enough? It's this one with a silhouette. Definitely makes it cooler. Fanta isn't even in the top 15 best-selling soda drinks. But you can't deny that it's famous, so what's the correct logo? Here it is! A place where you can literally get anything. So find the right store to go to. Yes, of course, it's this one. What's the correct Wendy's logo? This one, right! Did you know that NASA is short for the National Aeronautics and Space Administration? Good for you, but what's their correct logo? It's this one. I'm having some hardcore flashbacks here. Sesame Street has been running since 1969, so it's been around since your parents were little. We know it all too well, but what is the correct logo? It's this one. 123 Sesame Street. Very easy to remember. What is the correct Ralph Lauren logo? You got it! However fancy iPhones and Apple OS might be, Android still owns about 70% of the market. So what's the correct logo? This one here. I know, I know. Switching colors is a hard game, but you see it so often that you can just trust your instincts to pick the right one. Yes, this one right here. You got it. What's the correct Walmart to go shopping at? Can't confuse this one with anything else. What's the correct logo here? Here it is. Amazon started out as a garage bookstore in the 90s. Now it sells almost everything, and everyone knows it. So can you find the correct logo? It's this one. What's the correct Huawei logo? This one right here. The ancient Olympic Games were staged in Olympia, but the first modern ones were held in 1896 in Athens, Greece. This one's tough. What's the correct logo? This is the one. The voice, left or right? What do you say? It's the right one. Snickers is the best-selling candy bar in the world. What's the correct logo? This one here. eBay often helps you out, but can you find its correct logo?
Yeah, it's right here. What do you say about this one, 7-Eleven? Here it is, of course. Paramount gave us so many cool movies, and you've seen their logo hundreds of times. Not for too long, though. Was it enough for you to spot the correct one? This is the one. There's just one mountain. Can you find the correct Puma logo? That's the one. What about Adobe? Can you spot it? It's right here. Here comes a trickier one. What do you gotta say? Gotcha. It's this one. Whether you're a FIFA kind of person or The Sims kind of person, you sure have something to thank Electronic Arts for. What's the correct logo, by the way? This is the one. Skoda is a Czech company, and at first, they were producing bikes. Now, they make cars as well. What's the correct logo? Here it is! Shazam helped you find that cool song so many times, but do you remember their logo? Here it is! I guess I need to do my laundry more often. This way, I'd know the correct logo for this washing powder. Green at the top, red at the bottom. Got it! Another producer of yummy stuff, but which logo is correct? One trip to the kitchen and I found out that the logo on the right is the one Cadbury uses. How often do you go to Aldi? Let's check. The correct logo is the one on the left. It's all about colors and donuts. The correct logo of Dunkin' Donuts is on the left. Do you like creating and sharing short videos? Then you must know which TikTok logo is the right one. Did you pick the one on the left? Then you totally nailed it! I use this messenger often enough to know the correct logo. And you? No, really? I was sure it was the one on the left. Can you figure out which one is the correct NASA logo? I see. No yellow. Got it. I'm sure this one is going to be a piece of cake for you. Which Mercedes logo is correct? This one. Good job. Do you know what the Rolex logo looks like? This crown is the one we need. One of the most popular drinks all over the world. But which logo is right? The one on the left. How often do you eat burgers? Let's find out. It seems I should treat myself to burgers more often. Another tricky question for coffee fans. Which Starbucks logo looks real? It's the one on the left. Now the Lacoste logo. Which crocodile belongs here? Right! The crocodile on the left looks too spiky to decorate your polo shirt. The next task is really tough. Which is the correct PayPal logo? Look! The first part of the word is darker than the second. KFC and its logo. Do you remember which is the one? 
It's the logo on the left. Look at the apron and the stripes on it. Hey, what's going on? This test is getting harder and harder. The correct logo is the one on the left. If you've ever rented an apartment on Airbnb, you probably know the company logo, right? The logo on the left is the correct one. How about another car manufacturer? The correct Honda logo is on the left. Social media fans, use your superpowers. Who would have thought? I'm definitely not an Insta person. A tiny twittering bird, but which one is on the Twitter logo? Yep, the one on the left is too fluffy. I've been to Subway hundreds of times, never knew their logo could be so confusing. The correct logo is the one on the right. Um, I mean, they're both colorful and look like a real thing. I cheated by googling the Google logo. Ha ha ha. I'm sure you'll solve this one hands down. And of course, the real Adidas logo is on the left. Wait, are they even different? Ah, uh, it's all about the antenna. The one on the left is the correct Android logo. Nutella, the world's most beloved hazelnut spread. Do you recognize its real logo? Of course. Of course it's the one on the right. Ah, this is a tough one. Gotta go and check. Does it count as cheating? So, Puma's cat is jumping to the left. Good to know. Erica works at the Railway Security Service. This morning, she received an emergency alert. There's a person with fake documents trying to escape to Canada by train. Erica and her colleagues found three suspects who look almost the same. Can you identify a criminal just by looking at one's passport? No matter what country a person is from, no passport can have a photo with mountains in the background. So this documents are fake. Bob is a college teacher. He invited his worst student, Dan, for a conversation. Bob wants to test the guy's logical thinking. He says, If you tell a lie, I will expel you from college. And if you tell the truth, I'll still expel you. What should the student say to stay in college? Bob should say, I'm telling lies. This phrase will create a paradox because it cannot be a lie or the truth. Nancy has 10 bowling balls. Her brother Josh decided to check her intelligence. So he asked Nancy to place those 10 balls in five lines, such that each of the lines has exactly four balls on them. Can you help her accomplish this task? She should draw a 5-point star and place the 10 balls occupying the corners and the intersection points. Voila! 5 lines with 4 balls in each row. Kevin has been hitchhiking in a desert for hours. Finally, one driver stopped and said, I will give you a ride wherever you want, but first, you gotta crack my riddle. Which letter can make the road larger? Can you help Kevin solve this task? The letter B can turn road into broad. Alex is a shepherd. He had 30 sheep, out of which all but 13 ran away. Can you calculate how many sheep Alex has now? He has 13 sheep. The phrase all but 13 ran away actually means that all except the 13 escaped. Take a look at these three prisoners. The first guy pushes the iron bars. 
The second guy shakes muscles with dumbbells. The third guy sits and reads a book. There's a picture hanging on the wall. Can you say for sure who's likely to escape? Take a closer look at the third guy. Can you see the sand under the painting? He must be digging a tunnel and covering it with a picture. So he's the one who wants to escape. All Becky's shoes are black, except two. Also, all Becky's shoes are red, except two. And all Becky's shoes are yellow, except two. Can you calculate how many shoes Becky has in general? Just three, one of each color. Dr. Smith prescribed Dan expensive vitamins. He gave Dan two bottles labeled R and B. The pills are entirely identical. The doctor asked Dan to take one pill daily from the R bottle and one pill from the B bottle. He can't take more or less than that. One morning, Dan was taking out the pills. He took out one pill from the R bottle as usual, and then, by mistake, he took out two from the B bottle. Now Dan has no idea which pill is which. He can't just throw away the expensive pills. What would you suggest? Dan should cut each of the three pills in half and put each half in two piles. Now each of the two piles will contain half of pill R and two halves of pill B. Now, Dan should take one more pill from the R bottle, cut it into half, and put the two halves in two different piles. This way, we'll know that each pile will have two halves of pill R and two halves of pill B, or one complete R pill and one complete B pill. Dan can take one pile today and keep the second pile for tomorrow. I am red, but I smell like blue paint. What am I? Red paint. Timmy's mother has three sons. She named her first son April. The next one's name is May. Can you guess the youngest son's name? And the correct answer is Timmy. Pretty obvious, huh? Can you spot what's wrong in this picture? The reflection in the mirrors doesn't match reality. What about this picture? Can you see anything odd? These two ladies seem completely fine, but there's a bandage on this guy's leg. No one would go to a swimming pool if they had big scratches, unless they're a zombie. The king of octopuses has sons, who have six, seven, or eight legs. The one with seven legs always lies, but the one with either six or eight legs always tells the truth. On a certain night, four sons meet and chat. The blue octopus says, we have 28 legs altogether. The green one says, we have 27 legs altogether. The purple one says, we have 26 legs altogether. And the red octopus says, we have 25 legs altogether. Can you identify the color of the sun who's speaking the truth? The green sun is telling the truth. To prove it, let us first assume that one of them is telling the truth. Obviously, three of the four suns lie as they disagree with each other. Let's suppose that the blue octopus is telling the truth. In that case, he has either six or eight legs and each of the other octopuses is lying, which means they have seven legs. In this case, the total number of legs will be six plus seven plus seven plus seven equals 27 legs, or eight plus seven plus seven plus seven equals 29 legs. But the blue octopus said that they have 28 legs altogether. Therefore, he lies. Now we can follow the same logic and check the remaining three suns. 
and we'll find out that only the green octopus is telling the truth. I have an eye, but cannot see. I'm faster than any man alive, but have no limbs. What am I? The correct answer is hurricane. I know a word of letters three. Add two and there will be fewer. Can you guess the word? The correct answer is few. Amy has two strings. The only thing she can say for sure is that when you light one end of either string, it takes exactly one hour to burn. Can you help Amy measure 45 minutes with the help of the strings? She should light both ends of the first string and one end of the second string. In 30 minutes, the first string will have burned completely. To measure the remaining 15 minutes, she should light the second end of the second string. When it's fully burned, we'll know for sure that 45 minutes have passed. Adam is a famous opera singer. He's going to perform for the king and queen for seven days in a row. In return for his work, they should pay him one-seventh of a gold bar per day. Adam doesn't accept prepayments. He requires a daily payment, which is one-seventh of a gold bar. What's the fewest number of cuts they should make to be able to pay Adam each day? Just two. Here's how it works. Day one, cut one-seventh of the gold bar and give it to Adam. Day two, cut two-sevenths of the gold bar and give this piece to Adam. He'll give you one-seventh of the bar back. Day three, give the singer the one-seventh piece you received the previous day. Day four, give Adam four-sevenths of the gold bar and he will give you the one-seventh and two-seventh pieces as change. Day five, give Adam the one-seventh part of the bar. Day six, give him the two-seventh piece and get the one-seventh one as change. And finally, day seven, give Adam his final one-seventh piece of the gold bar. Jenny and Sam arrived at a picturesque campground. They had to set up a tent. There were three good spots, in the forest, in the field, and near the lake. Which place should they opt for? The best option is to choose the field. Wild animals live in the forest. As for the lake, look, a zombie is hiding in the bushes over there. Probably not the best neighbor. George was walking down the street. Suddenly, a wizard popped out of nowhere and teleported George to his castle. He offered the guy to choose between these three doors. There's a hungry tiger behind the first door. There's an angry dinosaur behind the second door. And the room behind the third door is filled with toxic gas. Which door should George choose? The second one. Dinosaurs went extinct millions of years ago. Jerry has an apple tree. The number of apples on his tree doubles every week. After 30 weeks, the tree is completely covered with fruit. Can you guess how many weeks the tree needs to get half covered with oranges? Oranges don't grow on apple trees, but if I asked you about apples, the answer would be 29 weeks. Because, as we know, the number of apples doubles every week. In the ocean, there's an island. On the island, there's a house. In the middle of the house, there's a glass of water. Inside the glass of water, there's a coin. What's in the middle of the ocean? The correct answer is simple, the letter E. Harry went to a party. He liked these four ladies. Hey. He wanted to talk to one of them. Which one should he choose? Take a look at the first lady's hand. She's a zombie. The second lady has a vampire bite on her neck. 
She can turn into a vampire any minute and ruin the date. And the fourth lady is a ghost, so Harry should go and talk to the third lady. Hello. Detective Thomas received a call from Holly. She said, Please come over. I got robbed. It happened so fast. I left my purse in the backseat of the car. When I stopped at the traffic light, someone opened the door and snatched my purse. Detective Thomas hit the road and rushed to the crime scene. But when he saw Holly, he realized that she was a liar right away. How? Holly has a two-door car. How could a thief steal something from the back seat? There are three houses. One of the houses seems very weird. Can you tell which one of them looks suspicious? Look at the footprints. They lead to and from houses 1 and 3. So people come and go from those houses. As for the second house, the footprints only lead in one direction, inside. People come in, but they never go out. Take a look at this messy floor. Can you count the number of laptops that you can charge with the help of these extension leads? The cord of extension lead 3 is torn. As for the second lead, one of its outlets is broken. Extension lead 4 has only one outlet, which makes the entire thing pretty useless. And extension lead 6 doesn't have any cable at all. Now let's see what we can do about it. Connect extension lead 1 to the wall outlet. Then connect extension lead 2 to extension lead 1. This way, you can use two outlets from the first extension lead to charge two laptops. One outlet of extension lead 2 can be used to connect the fifth extension lead, and one of them is useless anyway. Now we can use two outlets from extension lead 2 and all four outlets of the fifth extension lead to charge six laptops. So the total number of outlets in use will be eight. Simple. Danny and Diana are spouses. They jog in the park every morning. To match every two steps Danny makes, Diana needs to take three steps. If both of them start with the right foot, how many steps would they make before their left feet are in the front at the same time? They'll never reach that goal. Here's how it'll go. I'm a five-letter word under you. Remove the first letter and I'm above you. Remove the second and I'm around you. Who am I? Well, have you managed to crack this riddle? It's a chair. Great job. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.